This is the same example data, example problems we have used before, the tire manufacturing, bicycle tire manufacturing example. However, in this case, I have modified the data a little bit so I can compare both static and dynamic analysis in Taguchi. Imagine that the internal factors are same. The tire company now testing some new thread per square inch. They are using another type of rubber and maybe another type of construction method. So these responses, the number of miles um, uh, found from each of these tires, they, they kind of changes now. And external factor, same thing. When you, when they are gone in the market, people use them in different temperatures, different humidity. For all internal factors, I have two level each. All external factor, I have two level each. So I have total four external conditions you can see here. And then for three ex internal variable, two level each, I have total eight conditions. And then I have a signal factor, which we'll talk about later in the dynamic analysis. And level definition, factorial uses uh, minus plus, and Taguchi uses one, two, three. They're kind of same. It, it is easier for me to uh, create, generate the data in factorial arrangement, so I just keep them here. It's no different. So let's copy this data in Minitab and show you how to perform the static analysis, Taguchi static analysis in Minitab and explain the results. So go to DOE, Taguchi, Analyze, and uh, we'll say can just hit OK. And then factors, I have three factors, internal factors, and then no signal factor that will come in dynamic analysis. And then responses, I got these responses. Graphs to graphs, that's fine. Analysis, mm, let's leave everything was there. Options here, um, the default is minimal is the best, which is the, um, uh, which, which compares against a target value. Check the video um, in the openeducator.com titled as a noise to signal ratio calculation in MS Excel. That will explain uh, what is larger is better, nominal is the best, and smaller is the better. So we can just leave this, or in this case, larger is the better. I want better type life with minimal variation. So hit OK, and then hit OK. So, uh, this is just a visualization of the graph. Let's go to the numbers first. So if we look at these numbers here, you can see that the signal to noise ratio for um, level two or high level of A, which was the uh, higher thread per square inch, gives you better tire uh, life compared to the noise. So in this case, signal to noise would be, signal is the mean life, noise would be the deviation so how much more you can get from this tire with minimal variations uh, b was the rubber quality so that was also again type 2 or uh, rubber was found better type 2 here in this case um, plus 1 and then type 1 is basically minus 1 in this case c was the um, uh, um, type of tire construction, maybe radial versus bias ply or something else, crossed, we don't know. So type 2 looks like gives better um, uh, signal to noise ratio. Now if you look at all of these three, uh, variable A, which is the thread per square inch, provide the, um, the maximum uh, effect. Uh, so I, this ranks um, basically says which one has the highest impact. So if we change from uh, the low level of third party square to high level, we get the highest level of benefit. So the static analysis generate two tables. One is the signal to noise ratio, and then the other is the uh, response um, table for means, where you can see how much life you get. So if you use uh, high thread per square inch, you get about 951 miles more than the if you use less. Now, if you use rubber quality two, then you get 700, 578 more miles. If you use the new construction or construction type two, you get about 880 uh, miles more tire lives. So, this is about the static analysis. So the mean tables, you can see exactly how much benefit you get. 
the signal to noise ratio table which is, um, gives you the how much life you get in comparison to uh, the noise uh, the deviations in the next video i will show you how to perform the dynamic analysis in the uh, using minitab